Yo, what's good, people? Uncle Hutter back at it again. Um, Jay Z's alleged son. <laughs> Secret son, Rimir Satterwhite, accuses rapper of abusing legal system for eight years to avoid paternity tests. It says he won't stop fighting for justice. His family claimed their own lawyer even colluded with Jay-Z's attorney to help the star avoid taking a DNA test in a bombshell lawsuit. Jay-Z has denied being related to Ramirez. Look at this, man. This is just... <laughs> Where did she move? Where did she move? Where did she move? I just want to dance with you. Where you move? Where you move? Where you move? I just want to dance with you. Where did she move? Where did she move? Where did she move? I just want to dance with you. She's standing there looking fine. Well, the first time I heard that Jay-Z probably was my father when I was eight years old. And, you know, my mom, we was actually sitting in the house on a regular day, you know, listening to music. My mom came up to me and was like, hey, Rob, you know, I got something to tell you. This is, that's your dad for real. I'm like, <laughs> Just put his mom, whole mom out there, man. What does mom look like? Listen, I want to see what his mom look like. Nothing your parents would just make up like that. You don't just say this type of person is your father, Jay Z. Like, I didn't get a fair due process in court. I never got my chance to talk. I never got my chance to talk. It basically just all got pushed to the side. Like, this was never about, you know, chasing anybody or trying to receive anything from it. This was like, you know, I'm trying to really. See who, see who my dad is. Everyone is really, 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 really high in. I stay to myself. I work every day. I take care of my family. I do my own music. I've been doing music since I was a kid. It's not nothing that just popped up. I ain't just wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to write a song and put it out there. And no, oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to go follow and try to chase one of these billionaires and say they my dad. No, I've always been me. Everybody in the world, I just think if you ever go through a problem like me, it's, it's always just this fight. Just get, get your fair due process in court. Don't let, don't let them dust you aside because I, this is something that I've been fighting for years and I won't stop. And the world is not what you always planned it out to be. It, just, it just shows you really that. <laughs> this is crazy. Now, his own lawyer colluded with the Jay-Z's legal team. That's crazy. <laughs> Allegedly. The case is due when you go to trial in Philadelphia this December, and Ramir said he will not give us a fight until the world knows the truth and gets a fair process at court. His certificate has no father listed. The, then court papers allege lawyers for Amir side secretly colluded with lawyers for Jay Z, forty eight, causing procedure problems that caused the case to be thrown out of Philadelphia courts. How you like? How can you be a grown ass man do this shit, man? Like this is kind of weak, man. Look at this guy. Oh my god, man. When Mira was first told by mom Wanda, she believed Jay-Z was his father when she was around eight. Wanda, 43, claimed that she had hooked up with the rapper, then known as Rock, in 1992 at his aunt's apartment in the projects of Brooklyn, New York, after he picked her up from Philadelphia.
The pair allegedly used protection, but it failed. And aside from a visit from him two weeks later, the pair never saw each other again. And Wanda had no idea how to contact him. Although Wanda's living boyfriend, Robert Graves, was originally listed on the birth certificate, he was legally removed in 2011 after DNA test proved he was not the father. Jesus Christ. Just put your mom out there, bro. <laughs> Wanda's godmother, Lily, who was given custody of her mirror in 2010 when Wanda became too sick to look after him, says she believes Jay-Z is the father and determined to fight until the family get treated fairly in court. She was only 16 when she lived in Michonne, but she may have told him when, when she, him she was older. She fell pregnant with no idea how to contact him. Listen to this shit. Her own off boyfriend at the time, Robert, knew the baby wasn't his, but put his name on the birth certificate while Wanda was unconscious recovering from birth. Let me just sneak my signature on there. You gotta have... <laughs> Over the years, she tried to get in touch with Sean, but Robert always stopped her. <laughs> Come on, man. Come the hell on. <laughs> this is wild. Oh, this is getting a little deep here. I got a call from his in-house lawyers and they were helpful and we thought we would resolve this privately. They even talked about Ramirez's music talent and whether it was a good time to put him on his record, later, record label. But he had to finish high school, so I said no. Suddenly, different lawyers got involved and their attitude completely changed. I think even realized, I think they realized there was more at stake for Sean given that Wanda was alleged underage. <laughs> now, if you remember, I, I said they're come, they're going to come after Hove. They're going to get Hove. They're going to get him. They see this stuff is a warning shot. They, they could have been paid this Joker off. Watch, they gonna get Hove. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, yo, when they get Hove, and when I mean they, I mean the brackets, the Illuminati, the lizard men, all that. When they get Hove. <laughs> Yo, people gonna be sick, man. I don't know what they're gonna do with themselves. I always thought, you know, man, be the Kahotep conspiracy theorist that I am. I always thought, you know, they had this, you know, these two figureheads, Beyonce, Jay Z, you know, the shine, a lot of the shines look up to these people. I was like, man, they're gonna get a, they're gonna get hove out. They're gonna get a divorce eventually. You know what I mean? Because you know it was too much. The 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 black the shine the African Americans the economy of the shine they was looking way up to, up way up to this to this marriage allegedly. You know what I mean? Um, I always thought it was funny. I was like, I always thought they were gonna get him out of here. They're gonna break up eventually just to keep. Uh, you know how powerful, influence, influential that couple is. I always thought they're gonna get him out of here one of these days, but now with the Me Too movement, they're gonna get Hove out of here. Now he's real protective of his, uh, you know, his um, image. He always been, you know, he's always had help for the brackets um, since ever since he left Dame. You know what I mean? But uh, he don't realize, man. It, it, I think it's like warring factions. You know, what I mean? almost like vampire clans battling out in. in you know, the control of, you know, of the United States and shit like that, of the world. But uh, they're going to get Jay-Z. They're going to get him out of here. I, I swear to you, you know, these stories, it might not mean that much. People throw it out. But it puts it, puts it, puts this, the, he's not this perfect guy in the back of the people's head. Now, he just got sued and everything else. Remember, he starts suing Weinstein. 
get his paperback. Then what for, what came out? Oh, the uh, SEC SEC thing. Then the title thing. Now this. Watch. Keep keep an eye on this. Uncle Hotel tells y'all keep an eye on this. And when it happens, when they get hove out of here, say Uncle Hotep told you. All right. Peace. <laughs>